Well, I just fancied an early night, so I thought I'd tuck myself in with my MP3 player. Only thing is, I couldn't find it. I knew it had been on the pillow the night before, but for some reason it had slipped down the back. So I lifted my bed up to retrieve it. Thing is, I managed to retrieve it and get it out, but I thought something else was down there. So I put my arm back down there again, and the piston failed on the bed. And it happened so quickly, it just happened in a flash. And I thought, if I got get my other arm in, I've had it, I've got both arms under there, so I had to let it go, because it was far too heavy for me to get my other arm in to try and lift it anyway. And that's how I spent the next 13 hours. Um, lots of things going through my head. Am I going to lose consciousness? Am I going to die? Uh, obviously, needing the toilet was an issue. I had to do what I had to do, which is quite embarrassing, but 13 hours stuck there. I shouted, I screamed. Obviously, I'm, I'm on an end bungalow. I'm really out of weight. Next door neighbour's deaf, so they didn't hear me. So I was shouting and shouting and shouting. I don't know where I got the energy from. I was shouting right until Frank come through the door 13 hours later. Well, immediately when they got it out, all the blood went to the surface of my skin and my entire arm popped. There was blood everywhere. They decided not to take me to Chesterfield. They decided to take me straight to an arm specialist, straight through to Derby. I've had four operations. I can get dressed myself. I can't feed myself. I can't put my own hair up. My husband did this this morning. <laughs> Other than that, I'm not doing too bad. I'm trying it. It's trial and error at the moment. It's a learning curve, trying to figure out what I can and can't do on my own. I'm at bed this morning, so I've done all that. But there's a lot of things I can't do, which I'm going to be relying on him a lot. 